Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you a bit of an older tutorial. However, it is something that some people have asked before, and I've seen, you know, some questions and concerns over it, and it was actually an issue I had at one point. So I'm going to be showing you all right here with Image Burn how you can go ahead and burn a CDI game, so a Dreamcast game, through Image Burn without any issues. Now, I'm going to show you this right here. Uh, if you get a Dreamcast game, you're going to have either one of two formats. It's either going to be CDI, which most of them are, or it's going to be BinQ. Now, if you have a BinQ game, that means that you're probably going to need the Utopia boot disk to boot it up. However, if it's CDI, that is better. However, check this out. If we open up Image Burn, which I just opened up a second instance of it, it's going to give us this error down here saying that it needs this DLL file and it cannot properly load it. Well, I'm going to show you all how you can go ahead and fix that. It's quite easy to do and Image Burn does support CDI, but it doesn't do it that well, so it needs those plugins. Now, the reason why I'm also using Image Burn is just because it's easy, it's free, most people have it. You don't need Disk Juggler to burn this like you did, you know, 10 years ago. You don't need alcohol 120%. You don't need to convert the image file, nothing like that. I'll show you what to do. So first off, what you want to do is go ahead and exit out of Image Burn if you have it opened up. And you want to go ahead and download this zip file that I have down in the description. It's called CDI Files for Image Burn. Just go ahead, extract it right here. And there's going to be three files, a DLL file, an H file, and a lib file. You want to go ahead, copy all of these. And now you want to go over to where your operating system is. And you want to look for one of these two folders. If you have an x86 folder for program files, go into that. If you don't, just go into program files. You want to go into your program files, whichever one it is, go down to Image Burn, and then paste the files right here. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead, exit out of that, go back to your ISO, go to Soul Calibur, whatever it is. I have Soul Calibur here. And as you can see, it now loads up everything with no issues. There's no errors, nothing like that, and you can burn it. Now, here is the big thing with burning an older game like this. With games like on the Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, anything like that, you want to burn them at the lowest speed your burner can perform at. Now, if you have a burner that can burn at 4x, that's great. However, most burners do not do that. In fact, I'm actually surprised mine can support 8x because because most of the time I've seen newer burners just support 16x and above. Now what you want to do on Image Burn, I normally have mine just default at 2.4x. You go ahead, select the lowest one you can, so I keep it at 2.4x because it just increments it to 8. Or you can select the lowest possible speed here, and then after that you just hit burn. Anyways, that's all there is to it really, it's not that hard and you just need those files right there. So as I said, all you need to do is grab this zip file, extract it, get those three files, and go ahead patch them into Image Burn. It's as easy as that. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.